Hello, it's Sarah from Hardcover Hearts. I'm here to talk about my uh, week in reading. I mm, didn't have such a great reading week. I had a ton of stuff going on at work, uh, so I didn't really have the chance that I thought I was going to have to actually enjoy the books <laughs> that I thought I was going to get to. But I did finish some. I just didn't, uh, not at the pace that I usually like, and, and um, not enough. For, for me. But uh, let's talk about what I was able to get to. Uh, the first was uh, a book for Aussie April. So I'll link below to the uh, announcements about that. Um, Doris and Jacqueline are doing that. Uh, Doris at Alda Books and Jacqueline at Six Minutes for Me. Um, so they kicked it off, which I think is so brilliant because I I definitely do not know enough about Australian authors and I'm learning so much, so I'm, I'm thrilled. Though the book I read was The Ruin by Dervla McIntyre and it was a really, really good um, mystery procedural, police procedural set in, in um, Galloway. So in Ireland, not in Australia, though the author lives in Australia. So I've been told that it does count, so I'm counting it. Um, but it was really good. Um, the pace, the structure, it was, uh, what I like sometimes is sometimes you just want a straight, simple read. Uh, you want it to be clear. You want it, the pace to be really strong. Um, there wasn't anything super fancy, but it was just straightforward and very, very satisfying. So. I thought it was great. I very much look forward to reading her next book, which I think is, is um, just coming out now, soon. Either soon or now. I'm not sure if it's out in the United States yet. So thumbs up for my first Aussie April book. Very happy. Um, the next one I that I finished was a very fast read, and it was My Sister's the Serial Killer. Um, this is a debut novel by Oyinkwa, Oyinkin Braithwaite. Oyinkin Braithwaite? I'm trying to figure out how to say her her first name, Oyinkin Braithwaite. Um, she is, uh, a, like I said, it's a debut book. It's won a ton of awards already. Um, it won the Tournament of Books, so it took the rooster home, <laughs> which is something that happens every March. I highly recommend it. If you don't follow it, I'll put the link below. Um, but I think it's also been included in some of the conversations regarding the Women's Prize. So a very, in, very good book, uh, short, super pace, like hit you from the, from the beginning. There are definitely some trigger warnings uh, for violence, also trigger warnings for, um, for specific uh, violence in the ruin. Um, that was a, uh, could be a little intense. Um, so keep that in mind for both of those. Um, but I really, I really enjoyed My Sister the Serial Killer much more than I thought uh, I would. And so, uh, really compelling. And that, that ending was, you know, so many, so many times you read a book and then the ending is just lackluster. And, and so if you can find one that sticks to the landing, that is, that's the best. So the next one I read was um, book number 15 in the Macy Dobbs series. It's called The, um, An American, the American Agent. Uh, by Jacqueline Winspear. Um, so I, there's something, I think I've said before, there's something really comforting about returning to an old character. And I think the Macy Dobbs series is a really good one. It's a female detective uh, around the time of World War II and she uh, gets involved in, in espionage and all of these interesting things. And she's, uh, she's just a great character and a uh, very caring, um, very smart, um, and and there's always some personal aspect of that's kind of tugging on our heart. And she's just a, she's a good one to follow if you like cozy mysteries um, or historical uh, mysteries. She's she's a really great one. And there's not a lot of violence or or so not a lot of need for trigger warnings with her kind of work. So it's it's just comfort, good comfort read. Um, so that was the American Agent by Macy Dobbs, Jacqueline Winspear. Uh, currently, I'm reading, oh, still reading SPQR. Oh, it's a, it, is, it is a big, big book, but I have actually turned to the audio version of this so I can kind of speed it along. Um, and that's just because I'm not as fast as a nonfiction reader as I usually am for fiction. So 
it's gonna help me um, move through it a little bit more quickly, but I'm already fascinated. And now oh, she is such a good, such a good writer. So I'm, ha I'm actually very happy that I have both the audio book going and I can refer back to, to the physical book. So um, I'm gonna be releasing a video this weekend about, um, about my how I think about trips and, and um, how I like to do pre-reading before going on trips, though not just planning the books that I'll read while I'm on vacation, but reading into a vacation. So uh, stay on the lookout for that. Um, the next thing that I have on the list that I'm going to be reading this weekend is The Long Take by Robin Robertson. So I'm in a book club with two amazing women. Hi, Nikki. Hi, Lydia. And um, we are we read the Man Booker shortlist and then we flip for the other part of the year and we read the um, National Book Award shortlist. And so we're always reading uh, vetted material and then we end up going really, really deep and um, and debating of which why that one should it have won? Why is it on the list? All, all that good stuff. So, uh, so we're going to be reading for the next one. We're doubling up. So we're going to be reading the lawn take and milkman, and then talking about the full span of the man booker list short list together. So really excited about that. Um, then uh, I'm reading the old drift, which is brand new. This is from Namwali um, Serpel, and she actually is a UC Berkeley, um, University of California at Berkeley professor, right up the street. So uh, really excited. It is. It is. It is a fantastic book. Very very literary. Um, bits of magical realism in there. Um, the story is centered or. Um, there's a connecting thread between a few different storylines and connects or converges in um, Victoria Falls in Zambia, uh, before pre-Zambia, uh, historically. And so you're following all of these, there's an incident and then you're following the threads of these uh, families. So, uh, and there's all sorts of really, there's almost like a, like a Greek chorus type of type of um, as aspect to it. There's a character that has, um, I forget the name of the condition, but she uh, is born with hair all over her. So this is a, a rare, rare condition. Uh, so that's interesting. Uh, re really fascinated with to see where this goes. There's a lot a lot of meat there on that bone. So uh, that's the old drift. I'm really excited to, to do that. And then the other one that I'm reading uh, that I wish I had made more progress with was um, Do Not Say We Have Nothing by Madeline Tan. I'm only 8% in. I really like where it's going. I like the um, the characters so far. Um, I'm interested to see where it goes and I've heard nothing but great things. So stay tuned with that. Um, and then the last thing I wanted to say is just, I wanted to say thank you for all the people who welcomed me to BookTube. Um, it's been an amazing first week. I, I'm, I'm blown away. I'm kind of shocked at the, at the welcome and all the information everybody has been sending me. So thank you very much. Um, you've made me feel very welcome. And um, I'll be releasing a couple of videos this weekend. So I hope you had an amazing week of reading. I hope you have something fantastic to read this weekend and um, let me know what you're reading. And uh, it's spring, so go get some flowers for yourself. Thank you, bye.